Greetings and salutations, everyone. I wanted to make this particular video for a while. Um, well, oh, I say a while. I've wanted. I've tried three times. This is the third attempt to record it the way I wanted to, or at least say what I wanted to the way I wanted to say it. Um, first off, we've been pretty busy, you know, doing things on the ranch and stuff. It's funny that the some of the things that you don't see are the things that keep us kind of the busiest uh helping mama and papa or or things like that or we don't really record cleaning up the house and stuff so those will keep us busy too but all that said i'm gonna cut it i'll be cutting in clips where you can see what we've been doing we've been getting the garden in um we had the we had the nieces and nephew over to help us with that while we were doing it. We put in some watermelon, tomatoes, peppers, cayenne peppers, then bell peppers. We also have some in the in some tubs. I believe I showed you that though. Um, I don't think that the strawberries that we saw last time are going to make. I think they were too long dead in that particular bag. Um, I don't think that that's so much <clears throat> the problem of where I bought them got them at Sam's I think it may be more that I just didn't get them out fast enough it was so wet and so rainy and I didn't have those tubs uh, until I didn't have those tubs filled up and usable until later days after several days after I got them I don't know how specifically how many so uh, that's probably contributed to them not being viable so I'm not can't give a proper review on the Ozark strawberries from Sam's. I may even buy an, another set to try and put them out instead, <clears throat> so that I can get some in. But mom and dad still have some up their house that survived through the winter. So uh, up at the blue house, so I may just get some from them. I'm not sure, but we've been busy here too. You can see that. Um, We've been putting in some little walkway here. And the kids were really good about helping with that one. And it turned out pretty well. We've got more bricks. These are the bricks that we had salvaged from that uh, house that was going to get demolished. And it worked out well having these we still have some more so we may extend it out all the way to the road so someone could just be dropped off at the road and the other person park and go into the garage or something like that i'm not sure on that one yet we might instead i i, I haven't told the kids this yet but they're probably going to watch this at some point so now they'll know but we may instead go forward up towards the road so that a person could be dropped out Though I doubt that one because I'm trying to prepare this area to have it where people can pull in and then turn right in here. And I'll have a parking area right here for when people come to the office uh, for my uh, to get a treatment or something like that. So that's going to be a thing for them. Uh, I'm trying to set that flow up early. Haven't had it come into play just yet, but we'll see. Um... I got to I got to tell uh, or memorialize or I don't know what it was. Tell that I'm I'm proud of Addy on something that he did. He was out and we were we were doing this and then we had finished getting to where we needed to get to and then he decided while I was doing other things around here to clean up and uh to, while I was cleaning up, he was going to mow the lawn with the push mower that we have uh without being asked he likes to use that thing and stuff so he just got right on it and i'm proud that he did that without me having to ask him to or tell him to or anything like that he just got on it which is good uh what else oh now we come to the part uh, oh i put some did a little work on the fence today on the border over there that's over here where we've had the um pushed some of the brush through that we were going to get out of the way so people could come in and put the house in up there in the road you know we had a bunch of brush up in there so that's the idea 
of why we had that down. Now I've got it back up so that I can hopefully start moving the electric fence back to the furthest back part where it needs to be. Uh, and that'll take a little time and work on that fence, but I've got that portion right there actually done. I've got to find some more uh, wire scraps and get some more spare wire to put and, and get the rest of it up, though. Um, let me see. I guess we come to the part of the video that has taken me so long to, to record, and it's that part where I, I kind of muse a little bit, even though this probably isn't going under... Misty Morning Musings. Uh, I ask, I haven't decided what I'm going to title this yet, but the idea of what I want this channel to be, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of stressful stuff going on right now with the, the virus, viral situation and so on. I don't like to say the name because, you know, YouTube bumps me even further down in the algorithm. And people just don't get to see what I'm, what I'm putting out. But that whole situation that's going on, there's a lot of things going on with it that, you know, can be remarked about, and talked about, and so on. And I'm, I'm, I have observation, questions, comments, and observations about it myself. Mainly a lot of observations. And I just, I might put a video like that or something out if I just can't keep it in my head for too much longer <laughs> or however that works for me but i'm not going to do that on this channel i wouldn't do it here if i ever do one video like that i'll tell y'all where it is so you can look it up but i want this channel to be something the sun comes out to accentuate i want this channel to be like a little ray of sunshine in a gloomy moments of the world because uh, there's a... You guys know I like anime and games and stuff. There's a certain type of anime that's called healing anime or uh, Ayoshiki. Or Ayoshike. It's I-Y-A-S-H-I-K-E-I. -I. I'll try and put a little graphic up or something. And... The idea of that anime is there's of anime like that is there's no conflicts per se. There's no overarching big bad that has to be vanquished necessarily, but it's it's something of a slice of life, but it's not quite like that. There's no no stressful portions in it. There's like a camping anime that's out there that just is an animated idea. I haven't even got I haven't even watched it, but I, I may now for some stress relief myself. Um, that just has girls camping, I think is what it is, or something like that. You know, just an anime where they go out, stuff like that. Put put it in the comments below if you know what that anime is. Um, and it just shows them do that. So, this this whole situation... Through all that, and in this, in this these times that we're going through, I want Rockhaven Homestead to be a place that people can come to, that is a healing place for them, that they get to see peace here. You know, when in Philippians four or eight, I wrote it down. I, I don't have those things on the top of my head, but. It says, you know, whatsoever things are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, of good report, those things are the things you need to think about. Any virtue and praise, those things think about. That's really important now when we're having a lot of things go on and we have to make a lot of considerations about what we do, why we do it, where we do it, stuff like that. Here at Rockhaven Homestead, I will endeavor for it to always be a place you come to. Whether that's literally, you know, I literally live here, but you can come here digitally and be able to just <sighs> calm down, deep breaths in, deep breaths out, and no stress. Or, you know, as little stress as you can have just me talking about the, maybe a little stress, you know, me getting things out on time or doing this or doing that or planting on time or something like that. But, you know, nothing that's 
Nothing that's earth shattering. For y'all anyway. But hopefully that is what this channel will be for everybody. Like I said, if I get an absolute hardcore itch or burn to, to make a video about those the stuff going on and it's not calm and chill or you know not stress relieving i'll put that on a totally different channel somewhere but for now that's what rock haven homestead is a place of peace a place of healing as always have a great day god bless and enjoy Bye.